<sighs> yo, 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 what's going on, Kasim? All good in the hood? Yeah, I'm all right, man. Just a bit tired. Come on down to Chinatown, man. Let's get cooking, man. I'm hungry. I can't be bothered to cook, bro. I'm exhausted. Don't worry, family. I've got you covered. Today, we're going to make an incredibly simple dish. It's nice and easy, and it cooks only in about 30 minutes. So what do you say? All right, go on then, man, if you insist. I'm coming. Yeah. Come on, bro. It'll be fun. And like I said, I got you covered. It's my nice and easy red lentil risotto. Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share with you how to make an incredibly delicious and simple dish. It's my mother's very own red lentil risotto. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Casim and on this channel I do health and wellness tips to take your health and well-being to the next level. Okay, I hope you're hungry and you're ready to eat. So without further ado, let's get started. So here are all the ingredients that you will need from the supermarket. Feel free to pause the video so you can see what you need. So here we go, I've laid everything out in front of you. Not many items at all. First thing you want to do is grab a large onion and start peeling it just like so. Then what you want to do is cut the onion into many thin slices because we're going to be frying them and we want to caramelize all the onions. So make sure you do them really thin. Then measure out a cup of red lentils and wash them in cold water. After removing the red lentils, add in the short grain rice and wash them with cold water as well. Next up, turn up a pan to high heat and add some olive oil. So all the onions go in and start stirring straight away. Keep stirring every once in a while and give the onions a little bit of time to get caramelized. If it looks like the pan is drying up, then add some more olive oil. Next thing you want to do is remove half of the caramelized onions so you can garnish at the end. Right, next thing you want to do is add the lentils and the rice to the pan. Then add some water until all the ingredients are fully covered with water. Stir it up. Then add one teaspoon of cumin and carry on stirring. Finally, what you want to do is half cover the pot, leave it open for a little bit and let it sit on a low heat for about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, remove the lid and have a look. Yummy, yummy in my tummy, looks good. Add some salt to taste and some black pepper. Now gently stir around and make sure that the dish is not missing any water and that it is moist enough. Now add the risotto to a clean plate and now time to garnish with the caramelized onions. And you can continue to garnish with any salad vegetables of your choosing. In this case, we've added some pickles, some turnip, and we've garnished with some paprika at the end. And oh yeah, don't forget to drizzle some of your good old olive oil. And that's it, voila, you've got yourself a nice Arabic risotto, well done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already to this channel, please subscribe so you don't skip a beat with Samsung Wellness. For more nutritious and delicious recipes, you can check out my superfoods playlist right over here. My name is Kasim. Thanks so much for watching.